I'm Dead Pooley Plays here at the Steel Series HQ. I'm with Brian talking the new Arctis line of headsets coming out by Steel Series. So we know that comfort is huge for gaming headsets. I mean, it's one of the things that separates what a really a gaming headset is versus just a pair of headphones, is the amount of time that you're gonna wear it on your head. You're gonna have your long gaming sessions much longer than you would typically sit and just listen to music, maybe. I'm liking the weight. It's a lightweight but solid headset. Oh. There's no weight on top of my head, which is great. It's staying on my head when I move around. And the cuffs, I feel like no pressure on the sides of my head. The great thing about a suspension headband is it distributes the weight of the headset across like your entire head, as opposed to a traditional fixed kind of headband where you get these pressure points right on the very top of your head. And you get that little bit of stretch that allows it to conform to your head, because not everybody's head is the same size, it's not the same shape, and this allows it to fit on anyone. The Arctis 3 and the 5 have what we call the half wrap design, where it just wraps underneath here. Uh, there's Velcro here that can adjust the tension of it, so you can choose how loose or how tight to make it. And then on the Arctis 7, the wireless headset, this one has what we call the full wrap uh, design, where the band actually runs through the headband, it goes underneath, and then wraps on the outside. And then you can adjust the tension just for your own personal preference of how tight you like it to fit. The band is removable, it's throw it in the washing machine. Same thing with the ear cushions. They come right off the headset. You can pop these in the washing machine as well and clean them up. And that solves the issue of having to buy a whole new headset when your ear cuffs go bad. Exactly. Just get new ear cuffs. We actually looked at the material of the outer part of the ear cushions as well and rethought how we could increase comfort. So we actually went to a company that creates materials for athletics. And it's a breathable, moisture wicking fabric, which we're calling our air weave uh, ear cushion fabric. So it's going to keep your head nice and cool over time. It's very soft, so it sits nicely against your head. Um, so you're not going to get that heat buildup. But the other part of an ear cushion is you need a little bit of an acoustic seal around your ears uh, to get a good bass response and also block out some outside noise. So we actually also put a polyurethane coating on the inside of the fabric so that you, you get the best of both worlds. I, I've only had them on my head for maybe five minutes, but it's gotten to the point where quite literally, if I didn't know there were headphones on my head, I would not know there were headphones on my head. So we'll, sit here, we'll sit here another 10 hours or so. Okay. This is the Arctis 9X headset by SteelSeries. Inside the box, you will find the Arctis 9X headset along with the USB charging cable. The headset itself has a, a self-adjusting ski goggle headband. It has a retractable clearcast microphone and it's bendable so you can adjust it to perfectly position it in front of your mouth. Around on the back side of the headset, there are a few different controls. On the left side here, you have a Chapmex control and this has a center position. When it's in center, you have equal amounts of your game and chat audio. If you move it to one side or the other, so if you, for example, if you move it towards game, the chat audio will reduce. And similarly, if you move it towards chat, then the game audio reduces. On the back of the right ear cup, you will find a master volume control. The button directly below it is for muting and unmuting the microphone. By default, it will be pressed in, which means the microphone is active. When you are ready to mute the microphone, you simply press it and it pops out and you'll see it's raised and that means your microphone is now muted. When the mic is muted, it will also illuminate red on the headset. On the bottom of the headset are two separate controls, one for main headset power and one for Bluetooth functionality. So the power button is used as master power to turn the headset on and off. Your Bluetooth button is used to power on and off the Bluetooth radio and also to perform Bluetooth functions such as pairing, play pause music, and answer and end call. Further down to the bottom, there is a micro USB jack here. This is used for charging the headset and performing any firmware updates when connected to the PC. And lastly is a 3.5 millimeter jack here, which is a share port. You can actually plug in a second set of headphones or another headset to the Arctis 9X to then share audio with a friend. To connect your Arctis 9X to the Xbox, first with the headset off, press and hold the power button for six seconds. You'll see the power LED turn on, showing you that the headset is now on, and then it will turn to white and begin blinking rapidly. Next, press the connect button on your Xbox, and you'll see the Nexus logo on the front of the Xbox begin to blink as well. The headset will then connect to the Xbox, and you'll see the LED status change to a periodic blink, and you'll see a message appear on the screen telling you that the headset is now connected to the Xbox.